If you're watching this on the day I'm uploading it. Um, if this is your first time checking me out, welcome. My name is Aisha. I'd love it if you subscribe down below and join the fam. Guys, we are almost at 100k. Can you believe that? Like our family is growing so huge. So if you're not already part of the family, then definitely do hit that subscribe button so we can get there a little sooner. Um, but the day you guys are actually watching this is my 22nd birthday, which is crazy. I am 22. I finally feel sort of old like it's kind of settling in that I'm an adult now yeah it's kind of weird so this is uh, I'm filming a PR haul slash makeup haul slash fashion haul if you couldn't already tell by the title um, and in this video I just have a bunch of PR stuff that brands have sent me within the past week and then I also did some shopping on my own from forever 21 and Zara um, I got a bunch of cute fashion items a lot of pants a lot of pants actually um, so I just wanted to share it with you guys and a lot of you on snapchat said you wanted to see this first I asked you if you wanted to see my May favorites first or my haul and literally everyone said the haul first so here it is for the people <laughs> but I really hope you guys enjoy this video if you do enjoy my hauls definitely give it a big thumbs up I'm always confused whether people like hauls or not especially PR hauls because I mean, showing you guys all the free stuff I get is kind of awkward sometimes. Um, but if you are confused in the whole PR sort of thing, um, a lot of YouTubers or Instagrammers, things like that, get things sent to them by companies in hopes that they share them with their viewers. Um, and actually, it helps me create better content for you guys because if I'm getting new releases, if I'm constantly getting all this makeup in the mail, then I can record videos and tell you guys my ideas and my thoughts because I know hearing reviews on people that have similar skin tone or just like someone you can trust is really important. So that's the whole deal with PR. Um, although it is free, I'm super grateful for all the stuff that I get in the mail, but of course all of it goes back into my channel and I can create better content for you guys. So enough blabbering, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's jump into it. So the first thing I'm actually really excited to share with you guys, this is by Chai Nute & Co. If you guys don't know who Chai Nute is or Manal, she has a YouTube channel, but she also started her own company of hijabs and I'm obsessed with her hijabs and I really wanted to share with the, share this with you guys. Um, this is, that's her right there. Whoops. This is the little package that it comes in and this is her new collection. So I did share with you guys her um, first initial debut line um, in the last PR haul that I did, which, is a while, which was a while ago. Um, but this, I mean, it's kind of messed up right now, but this is basically, the new collection so I don't know the exact names but I will have um, a link to her website down below and you guys can shop all of the beautiful scarves it just smells so good but anyways this is the first color so it's a beautiful oh my god this is so nice this is kind of like a tan almost like a camel tan color maybe khaki I don't really know um, and then this is a navy blue color looks like this very gorgeous and then this is like a dusty rose. Love it. And then this one I'm actually excited about because I think I'm gonna wear this for Sabri's wedding, um, which is coming up in August, but it's kind of like this um, icy blue gray. Like it's a really, really light gray blue, if that makes sense. And then last but not least, this is such a unique color. Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to wear this. I feel like it goes really, really well with my skin tone, but yeah. So she sent those over. Thank you so much, Manale. I really appreciate it. So the next things are from Hourglass. And if you guys are part of Snapchat fam, or if you follow me on um, Instagram, then you would have seen this already. I did a mini haul, but I thought that I would show my YouTube fam it as well. So Hourglass sent over a couple goodies. They sent me two of their um, Vanish Stick Foundations. So the shade Golden Almond, which is the one I currently use, and then also Warm Almond. So I have both of these already, but it's gonna be really great because I love this foundation and Now I have a backup for it and then they also sent over the brush um, To use the foundation with and this brush is so soft. I actually did use it once um, I washed it already though and it blended it out so nicely like way nicer than the other brush that I used last time and it's just like Incredibly soft right here is warm almond and then this one is golden almond so you can see warm almond just has a little more of a um, yellow undertone. I sent over three of their girl lip stilos and this one is called influencer and I actually have 
I think I, I think I put this in a giveaway last time, so it's nice that it's coming back to me. Um, so this is what Influencer looks like. It's a very beautiful nude color. Uh, Cheever is sort of a deeper nude color. And last but not least, this one is Protector, and I think this one is my favorite. Um, it's like a deep purple, or not deep, it's kind of like a berry purple. And then they sent over two of their blushes, I think that's what they are, Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush. So this one is in Euphoric Fusion, which looks like this. This one is in Brilliant Nude. This one I kind of use as a blush topper slash highlight because, um, I don't know, it has a beautiful like iridescent shimmer to it and it looks really nice on the cheeks. I have a little bit on my cheek right now, um, but it's nice because I'm not someone that likes a, like an intense highlight anyways. Um, and then this is their bronzer, it's their Luminous Bronze Light. And on lighter skin tones, I feel like this would be a really beautiful sort of bronze topper. But on me, it's kind of like a highlight. So thank you so much to Hourglass for that. I'm really excited to start using those on my channel. And then this one is by Pixie. Again, I showed this um, on my Snapchat, but I thought that I'd show my YouTube fam. So this is their new peel and polish, um, polisher, exfoliator, I don't really know, but they sent over, oh, I love their boxes. They're so pretty. Um, but yeah, so I already used this once and I actually really like it. So this is what it looks like. It's their peel and polish and it has, um, lactic acid in it and it has 6% lactic acid and papaya so it's a really good exfoliator um, and actually I did a giveaway on my snapchat with this so someone from Seattle um, won this so I'll be shipping this to her probably tomorrow um, I have to ship it soon actually I keep forgetting so if you guys aren't following me on snapchat or Twitter or Instagram then definitely do because I do random giveaways and I'll be doing a lot more this summer um, so definitely follow me there. So I'm just gonna get this out of the way. Dermalogica sent over a couple of their new products, so I thought I would share them with you. I love Dermalogica. Um, their products are like amazing. Um, so this one is their Stress Positive Eye Lift, and it says new on it. So anytime they have tubes, they include like this little squeezer thing, so you put it on top, so as your product finishes, you can keep like pushing it down. It's seriously genius. Um, but this is, I guess, just like an eye treatment. Um, ooh, look at that. That's a really interesting tip. I'm excited to use that. I'll probably use this tomorrow morning. Um, and then this one is the nightly lip treatment. I love lip treatments, so I'm definitely gonna be using this tonight. And I don't wanna open this because it has one of those seals again, but this is what it looks like. Um, and it has that same sort of like applicator at the top. So next I got a package from Paracone MD. Um, I think they came out with like new products or something and they wanted me to test them out. So uh, Paracone MD is expensive. Like, girl, it is expensive. I went to Sephora yesterday and I looked at their um, display. Their products, I mean, they have to be good because with that price tag, I mean. Ow. Oh. Okay, finally got it open. Jeez. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I have this little thing that says Switch on the power of hydrogen. See the radiance, feel the rush. Ooh, a bunch of goodies. Let's see, so the first thing is a depuffing eye gel. Ooh, another depuffing eye gel. How do these people know? <laughs> um, so this is what it looks like. Very fancy schmancy bottle. I was actually looking for a new eye cream or like eye treatment. So this is great because now I have a bunch. I was actually gonna go to um, the Abnormal Beauty Company store again um, and pick up like their eye concentrate <laughs> now I don't need to because I have a bunch um, and then this is the H2 energy complex so this looks like it it says hydrating cloud cream so again it's that in that same come on it's in that same beautiful packaging and then this is the hydrating booster serum so again, same packaging and it looks like this. And then last but not least, this is a huge bottle. This is a firming foam mask. Ooh, firming foam mask, interesting. Lightweight texture, foams on contact to instantly energize and firm skin with a cooling sensation. So 
again cool looking bottle excited to give these products a try so thank you so much to Paracone MD. This one I'm just gonna get out of the way because it's probably the most extra PR package that I've ever gotten and I'm obsessed with it but uh, this is from Too Faced. Again you guys would have seen this if you follow me on Snapchat or Instagram. Can we just take this in right now? This is literally a package in the shape of my favorite bronzer. It's, it's actually insane so. Thank you so much, Too Faced. I love your packages. <laughs> this is the top of it. So it came with all of their bronzers, which is amazing because I'm almost out of my Dark Chocolate Soleil, which is this one over here. Um, it also comes with Snow Bunny, Sun Bunny, um, what is this, Pink Leopard, Beach Bunny, uh, Sweetheart, what? Sweetheart's Bronzer and milk chocolate soleil and then chocolate soleil some of these ones like are different um so they have like highlights built into them and blushes and stuff um but yeah very nice and then it also came with <laughs> this is probably my favorite thing ever i'm totally wearing this uh but it came with a little hat and it says too faced <laughs> How freaking cute is that? Oh my god. It does not fit over my head because my bun is way too damn big, but so cute! So I got a package from Rahma's Boutique, um, and Rahma's Boutique is where I get all my crinkle scarves. I get so many questions about this. Rahma's Boutique, I will have the link down below, but this is where I got like these scarves. So this style scarf, I have like five different colors that I always wear. Um, so she sent me a couple more. So she came out with a different style. This is kind of like um, I don't really know what she called the ribbed style or something like that and I'm kind of upset because I picked the same color that like I have This style in which is kind of stupid, but oh well, I'm still gonna wear it um, So this is what it looks like and then I got two other I think they're both crinkle cotton Yeah, so I got two other crinkle cotton one in a gray color and then one in a baby pink and then I only have one PR package left and this is from Tarte. I haven't received anything from them in a while so I was actually shocked when this came to my doorstep today. Um, it literally came as I was setting up my lighting situation so I was like oh well that's a nice surprise. It's quite heavy so I don't know what's in here. So the first thing is this uh, tanning mitt? Tanning thingy? Streak free healthy tan in seconds. So obviously I don't really need this because I mean I got enough melanin in me to work as a good tan. So I will probably just give this away somewhere um, Maybe on my social media or I might just keep it for my 100k giveaway if I decide to have a giveaway for that This is a dry shampoo. It's their hair goals dry shampoo I really wanted to try this because um I love their other mist, the Rainforest of the Sea one. So this is their Ready Set Radiant Skin Mist. And it looks like this. Oh, don't open your eyes when you spray this though. My eyes are stinging now. It smells really good though. It smells a lot like cucumber. So if you don't like cucumber, you probably won't like the scent of that, but I love cucumber, so <laughs> I'm all about that. And then they sent two of their um, Tardis Quick Dry Matte Lip Paints, and one is in the color Obsessed, and then the other one is in OG. And then they sent over a lot more stuff. This is their um, Rainbow Highlighter from their Unicorn Collection. So that is what the Rainbow Highlighter looks like. And these are two more of their quick dry matte lip paints. I love the packaging of this. Oh my god. So I actually have seen this before. I don't know if they're in the same shade. Oh no no. So this one's in fairy tale. It's like a bright blue. That is what fairy tale looks like. Also we have festival, which this definitely looks a lot more wearable. <laughs> Ooh. So that's what festival swatched like. This is their color splash lipstick in the shade uh, De oh, I can never pronounce this. Dequiri? Daiquiri? It's like that drink, you know the strawberry drink? Guys, don't judge me, okay? I don't know what that word is. Ooh, this packaging is gorgeous. Look at that. I don't really know where my camera cut off, but um, this is their Lidlock Eye Base. I didn't even know Tarte made an eye base, but this is in the shade Buff. That is what it looks like. This is three of their liquid highlighters, their Pro Glow liquid highlighters. And this one is in Stunner, this one is Exposed, and then this one is Sparkler. Ooh, actually there's one more of their Twinkle Stick highlights. Um, so this one is in the shade Spotlight. Ooh, this one looks like it'll 
be a little more suited to me. It's kind of like this peachy color. Ooh, yes. I'm excited for this. <gasps> that is so pretty. Oh my god. Do you see that? Oh my god. That is freaking gorgeous. I'm using this tomorrow for sure. And then we have two of their Rainforest of the Sea Quench Lip Rescues. So this one is in the shade Opal. And then this one is in Buff, which I feel like is going to be really pretty. It's kind of like a... Um, it kind of reminds me of Ashton, which I'm actually wearing today. So hopefully it looks like that. Oh, it's one of these. Oh my god, I love these things. They look like this and they have a ton of different colors. Um, I actually gave one to my mom and she really loves it as well. And it's just like a super hydrating like lip balm, but it has like a tiny bit of tint to it. So like, I'll just swatch it on my palm <laughs> right there. Like you can barely see the tint, but it's just like so hydrating on your lips and it gives the most beautiful sort of like shine on them. And we have three of their clay pot liners. I love these. Um, you guys have seen me use them before on my channel and um, we have the shade Prom Queen, Blue Moon, and Margarita. So those are the shades. I'm not gonna bother taking them out. They're basically just small little um, gel liners. Last but not least, we have this Poreless Mattifying Primer. Ooh, interesting. Looks like this. I still have some beauty products, but these are all products that I purchased myself. So I went to Sephora yesterday to pick up, um, actually, I didn't really know why I didn't need to pick up anything, but I ended up buying a perfume, which is so random because I never buy perfume. Um, like I rarely ever buy perfume, but I was getting my uh, laptop fixed and it, they said it would take an hour. So I just went to Sephora naturally, um, but I got a rollerball. This is the black opium perfume by YSL. So this is what it looks like. It smells so good. Oh my God. Oh. <gasps> It's like a very warm, like grown-up scent. Not grown-up, but it just smells like, it's a sexy scent, that's the word for it, yeah. It's just a very like sexy smell. So I'm excited to use that. And I, it's not a rollerball actually, it's a spray. So I'm actually really happy about that because I hate rollerballs. And then because it is my birthday, uh, when you guys are watching this, uh, when I picked it up, they said that I could redeem my little birthday present. So there was a choice between like this Tarte um, blush and lipstick duo, but I opted out of that because the shades weren't really my color and I really just wanted to try this. So this is by Caudalie and it's, that's what it looks like. So it's their new collection. It's their Vino Source Cream Sorbet Hydrant and their Vino Perfect Serum. So this is what it looks like. It's a pretty good sample size. And from Shoppers Drug Mart, I picked up a sunscreen. You guys saw my quest for a sunscreen <laughs> over Snapchat. Um, and a lot of you guys recommended that I try this one out. So it's on sale right now at Shoppers if you're watching this um, and you're from Canada. It should still be on sale, but it's like $24 right now as opposed to... I don't really know how much it is normally, but... This is the La Roche-Posay um, sunscreen and this has... It has um, SPF or 60... Yeah, SPF of 60 and it's for sensitive skin for the face. Quick absorbing, matte finish, water resistant, fragrance free and paraben free. Yeah, I just heard so many good things about this and I'm really bad with my sunscreen. Like literally I never use sunscreen. So I'm like, listen, I'm getting older. I need to start wearing sunscreen um, because it actually like worsens your dark spots and your hyperpigmentation. So there's no point in me using all these products to like lighten my dark spots if I'm not even just using sunscreen to prevent them in the first place. If I do end up liking this, I will talk about it um, in future videos. Um, and then from Beauty Joint, uh, I ordered this literally like almost a month and a half ago and I finally got it. And yeah, so my drugstore tutorial slash and or my drugstore makeup tutorial and my wet and wild one brand tutorial will be coming soon because I was literally just waiting for this package. Um, but yeah, I got a bunch of stuff from wet and wild. But the one thing I have to say about beauty joint is that they're shipping like for it taking such a long time. Like they could have at least packaged it nicely. A lot of the products that I got ended up breaking. So for example, this is the Wet n Wild Shimmer Palette in Boozy Brunch. So that's what it looks like. But as you can see in the package, like it is like broken. So I'm hoping that I can still salvage it. Uh, it doesn't look like actually shattered, but it's just kind of like their shipping is so bad. Like, come on, man. Then I got 
um, a faux mink pair of lashes by Ardell. So this one is in, I don't really know, but that's what they look like, <laughs> 812. And then I got another one of these Milani um, Keep It Smooth Sugar Lip Balms because I got one in my Gen Beauty bag when I went to Gen Beauty LA and I loved it so much that I had to repurchase it. So yeah, and then this is what actually shattered and I'm so upset about this. Do you see this right now? Do you see this? How freaking sad, guys. This is Mellow Wine and this was the only bl blush that I got from Wet n Wild so I'm really upset about it. <sighs> Honestly, I was going to recommend Beauty Joint to you guys because um, they have like Wet n Wild, they have Milani, they have like all of these drugstore products that are really hard to get in Canada and like the UK for example. But their shipping is just so bad, like it takes so long and then it comes freaking broken so like I don't even want to recommend it to you guys but I thought I'd show it to you anyways. And then I got a Wet n Wild mascara for my one brand tutorial so this one is um, the Lash Renegade. And then I also got this eyeshadow palette, which I was surprised didn't come broken. Thank God, because it's actually so beautiful. Um, and this is their Eau Naturale um, Nude Awakening palette. So, so pretty. I'm actually really excited to, um, to use this in my tutorial. And then I got a primer from Wet n Wild. This is the Photo Focus Face Primer. I got this eyeliner. It's just like a... Um, nude liner from Wet n Wild and then I also got a brow pencil from Wet n Wild and then a spray from Wet n Wild of course uh, This is their photo focus spray and then I got this which is like on the verge of shattering But like hopefully it doesn't it's their mega glow contouring powder. Um, I couldn't find a bronzer in my shade So I got this instead and I feel like I could definitely use this for bronzer and then this will be actually or sorry This banana shade will be really nice to set under the eyes I got another pair of the faux mink lashes by Ardell and these ones look like this They're in the shade 8 or not shade but like style 811. Um, I went to Zara last week and I picked up like three pairs of pants Which is kind of excessive, but I needed new pants for the summer actually the first pair of pants I got from urban planet um, I just like I don't really like going into Urban Planet because it's just so hectic all the time But I saw this pair of pants and I was like obsessed with them So this is what they look like all the pair of pants is pants is? <laughs> all the pair of pants that I got are like pretty much identical so this one is like um, those like palazzo pants, so they go like really Flowy and stuff at the end if you can see that this is I should have done like a try on haul or something, but I don't really want to. <laughs> I got three different pairs of palazzo pants. Actually, they're all the same style, but different like colors, if that makes sense. So the first one is this one, and this is what it looks like. They're gonna look so weird on camera, but they're so cute on. So it looks like this. They go super high waisted, and then they have this sort of like ruffle design at the top. And they have a belt or not a belt but like a little tie on the side and then they're kind of like ankle grazers like they don't go all the way to the floor and then I got the same pair in a different striped pattern so that's what they look like side by side I don't know why I got so many honestly I might return some of these but it's the exact same style but just in this color um, this one I'm definitely keeping this one I'm not too sure about I'm gonna try them on with like my clothes and stuff uh, but this one I'm definitely keeping, I love it. And then this one, <laughs> um, it's interesting, don't judge me. I was thinking I could wear this for Eid or something or some other fancy event, but it's basically a similar style except it ties in the middle and then um, it's like this, this like astronaut material <laughs> is what I'm gonna call it. It's really pretty on actually, but I don't know. I'm still undecided about this to be honest, but. And last but not least, I went to Forever 21, which if you guys didn't know is like my favorite store ever. Um, and I got a bunch of cute stuff as well. So the first thing I got, actually I'll show you guys this first because I got a lot of questions in my last couple videos about how I tied my uh, turban. And I tied it exactly like I always do, just like this, except I wore a headband on top because I didn't want to wear my beanie when I was doing my makeup tutorial because I've been getting a lot of shade about my beanie and how ugly it is. Okay, I know it's ugly, I just wear it so I don't get foundation on my hijab. But I came up with this hack that you can get a, um, like a headband and then put it on top 
and then you can do your makeup and you don't have to worry about it because if it gets on the headband you can just wash the headband so it's like really really simple um, so I got a couple more of these I got one in a red color and then I got another one in black but this one has this cool like there we go you can see the design now this shirt I got I love this shirt so much and I think I'm gonna wear it um, I don't know if I'm gonna wear it for Eid, I'm definitely gonna take it to LA because it's super like breezy and stuff. But basically it looks like this, it's a very like oversized blouse thingy. It's kind of like a dress so I would wear this with tights, but I just loved these colors and I thought it would go so well with one of um, Chinu Tien Ko's um, hijabs. So I tried it on, it's super cute. You guys will probably see me wear a lot of these in my Eid lookbook that's coming out soon. Um, so keep an eye out. And then I got two more pairs of pants, of course, <laughs> because I just, I'm so obsessed with this style of pant, guys. Uh, so this is very similar to the black ones that I have, except it's in a green color. So it looks like this, and then it like, it's like super wide. And the only thing with these is that they have a slit down the side. So I'm actually gonna take it to a seamstress and I'm just gonna like, um, uh, what's it called, sew it closed so that I could wear it without like pants underneath because that kind of defeats the whole purpose like they're so like airy and like comfortable I don't want to have to wear tights underneath and be hot and uncomfortable so I also got this other pair which is probably my favorite purchase out of like everything so it's kind of like this satin material um, and it's a really really wide leg pant and it's just like so classy they're super long so I'm definitely gonna have to wear heels with this but I thought this would be so pretty with like a white top or something um, and I might wear this for Eid this year inshallah so we shall see and this was really inexpensive it was only like yeah it was only $33 and for like a really chic good quality piece of pant that's really good so I think that is everything in this haul. I know it is super long, but I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will try to link majority of the products down below. I'll definitely try to link the clothing that I got, um, and then maybe some of the um, some of the makeup products that I got as well down below in case you guys are interested. But thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.